tuberculosis is an infectious disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. Tuberculosis is usually can be treated effectively by anti-tuberculosis medicines but the bacterium that causes tuberculosis can develop resistance to the antibiotics used to treat it. Multi-drug resistant TB and extensively drug resistant TB are public health threats due to limited treatment options. New treatments are important to meet patient national and global health needs. This video contains information of a new drug which has been recently approved by FDA for treatment for highly treatment resistant tuberculosis of the lungs. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, Please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. More than 1.7 billion people, about 25% of the world population, are estimated to be infected with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis remains one of the leading causes of morbidity and mortality worldwide and resistance to commonly used anti-tuberculous drugs is increasing. The term drug-resistant TB refers to cases of TB caused by an isolate of Mycobacterium tuberculosis that is resistant to one of the first-line anti-TB drugs, isoniazid, rifampin, pyrazinamide, ethambutol, or streptomycin. Multi-drug-resistant TB MDRTB, is TB that does not respond to at least isoniazid and rifampicin, the two most powerful anti-TB drugs. Extensively drug-resistant TB, XDRTB, is a form of multi-drug-resistant TB with additional resistance to more anti-TB drugs that therefore responds to even fewer available medicines. It has been reported in 117 countries worldwide. The overall prognosis for adults with XDRTB is poor with high mortality. According to the World Health Organization, in 2016, there were an estimated 490,000 new cases of multidrug resistant TB worldwide. It is estimated that about 6.2% of these cases were XDRTB. Multidrug resistant TB and extensively drug resistant TB are difficult to treat due to resistance to available therapies. The US Food and Drug Administration on August 14, 2019, approved Predomanid in combination with bedaquiline and linezolid for treating a limited and specific population of adult patients, with extensively drug-resistant, treatment-intolerant, or non-responsive multidrug-resistant pulmonary TB. Predomanid is an antibacterial drug of the nitroimidazole class. Predomanid has been developed and clinically evaluated by TB Alliance, a not-for-profit product development partnership dedicated to the discovery and development of new, faster-acting, and affordable medicines for tuberculosis. The safety and effectiveness of Predomanid, taken orally in combination with bedaquiline and linezolid, was primarily demonstrated in a study of 109 patients with extensively drug-resistant, treatment-intolerant, or non-responsive multidrug-resistant pulmonary TB. Predomanid is the second drug to be approved under the limited population pathway for antibacterial and antifungal drugs, or LPAD pathway established to advance development and approval of antibacterial and antifungal drugs to treat serious or life-threatening infections in a limited population of patients with unmet need. 
as required for drugs approved under the LPAD pathway, labeling for pretamanid includes certain statements to convey that the drug has been shown to be safe and effective only for use in a limited population. Pretamanid also received the FDA's Qualified Infectious Disease Product QIDP, designation. The QIDP designation is given to antibacterial and antifungal drug products intended to treat serious or life-threatening infections under the Generating Antibiotic Incentives Now title of the FDA Safety and Innovation Act. The FDA granted Pretamanid tablets priority review under which the FDA's goal is to take action on an application within an expedited time frame. The FDA also granted Pretamanid tablets an orphan drug designation, which provides incentives to assist and encourage the development of drugs for rare diseases. The most common adverse reactions observed in patients treated with pretamanid in combination with bidoqualine and linezolid included, damage to the nerves or peripheral neuropathy, acne, anemia, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, diarrhea, headache, increased liver enzymes, rash, increased pancreatic enzymes, visual impairment, and low blood sugar. Pretamanid used in combination with bidoqualine and linezolid should not be used in patients with hypersensitivity to bidoqualine or linezolid. Thank you for watching this video. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.